how to bring the mic down, but there we go. Um, so for speakers, so I'm realizing these are our first public speakers, so you have up to five minutes to speak. I'm sure Mr. Regan briefed you extensively on this. Um, there should be a clock just to your right there. Um, yeah, it'll start in a minute. Um, and there might be questions, very concise ones, from counselors afterwards. You are welcome to answer or not answer as you see fit. Welcome <coughs> to the next year. Thank you. Um, so my name is Alicia Maxfield, and I'm the Community Economic Development Coordinator with the Community Economic Development Strategy. And I support the Downtown Eastside Community Economic Development Strategy. My role as the CD coordinator is to be a resource for the committee and the downtown Eastside community by providing community engagement opportunities and supporting the logistics and coordination of the committee. My focus for the presentation today, my focus for this presentation will be to share information about my engagement process, quote the needs of the community, and share key findings from my community engagement work. I conducted my community engagement process. Um, I conducted my community engagement process between July and October of this year. I met with 31 organizations and collectively spoke with 62 residents from the downtown east side. Some of the organizations I met with include Downtown Eastside Women's Center, Downtown Eastside Market, Culture Saves Lives, Residents Occupying Kent City at 58 West Hastings, Youth Collaborative for Chinatown, Urban Native Youth Association, Salvation Army Harbor Lake, Gallery Gache, and the Carnegie Community Action Project, to name a few. My approach was to meet people face to face to ensure a rapport could be established and more authentic. My engagement techniques included knocking on doors of various organizations, attending different service and group meetings, conducting pop-up engagements at community events, and speaking with organizations over the phone. I also inquired if residents or organizations would like to remain updated on the process or be directly involved in participating in the committee. Of the 62 residents I spoke with, 45% wanted to remain involved, and 73% of organizations were happy to receive updates. I did experience challenges meeting with people, as people were weary about whether providing information was worth their time. Residents and organizations really stress that they want to witness tangible programs be developed from this committee. I'd like to share a few direct quotes that I heard when conducting interviews. People need space in the downtown side where they can go and say, this is what I know and can do. Here is the type of work I enjoy. What opportunities are available and who is hiring? Increase the welfare rates. Make necessary changes to the income assistance system so people can have a chance to escape poverty. People do not want to report all of their earnings because they will lose the other support, such as medical care benefits, which they cannot afford if they do not receive income assistance anymore. Create more indoor spaces for vendors and storage. We need storage space down here. There's so much talent in the downtown east side, so many artists. Amazing what they can do with so little support and supplies. We need maker and vending spaces for artists and people who are good with their hands. There cannot be culture without noise. We need affordable and supportive space to host cultural events where everyone is welcome to participate. We need an affordable grocery store and maybe help the band ladies to open up their own restaurant one day. There's no social infrastructure in Chinatown. There's no opportunities for young people to develop leadership skills beyond, beyond owning a business. Success stories need to be shared so that other people can understand how to do reconciliation work well, such as hiring Aboriginal people out of the downtown side to be in leadership roles. From my community engagement work, I've concluded the following key findings. People cannot participate in economic development if they do not have, first, stable housing and income. Increase the safety and security of the neighborhood by hiring local community members to perform this work. Increase the number of low barrier income generating opportunities and provide incentives to local employers and social enterprises who are involved in social impact hiring. Develop an employment hub space that operates with flexible hours. Provide affordable community spaces that connect community members through art and culture activities, inclusive park space, and enhancing laneways with local food stands and fun activities. Improve infrastructure for informal economy by providing indoor market space, storage space, storage space for vendors, and mobile carts. There's strong need for affordable commercial retail space where people can purchase basic goods and sit down for a local meal and have the opportunity to be employees of these spaces and support development of leadership opportunities for Aboriginal people as well as the youth in the downtown side. 
Adopt city planning policies regarding community benefit agreements to include members of the community to be involved in the decision making process. Provide more accessible life skill training for residents with barriers to maintain employment. And provide education to employers on maintaining positive relationships with low barrier employers to understand the unique challenges of hiring someone who is on income assistance. It is pertinent that the city approve of the downtown Eastside Community Economic Development Strategy. It's valuable to this community and there's a longing for its community minded process to enhance well being and economic development of the downtown Eastside. Resources and actionable, actionable support from the city are needed to implement these recommendations, measure their impact, and remain accountable to the communities whose lives are impacted immensely by this strategy. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Maxfield. That was incredibly well-timed and a great presentation with us. <laughs> so thank you very much.